How's it going guys? We are back with another Skyrim skill series episode. Today is going to be sneak. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the guardian stones and get the thief stone so that our sneak can progress 20% faster. Come and grab this and boom. Now before we get into the boosting sneak, I'm going to show a couple stealthy outfits, just a couple things that enhance sneak. First, you're going to want to come over here to Windhelm. And this is just to get the Dark Brotherhood started, because when you start the Dark Brotherhood, upon entering the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary near Falkreath, Astrid will give you the Shrouded Outfit. And this is good for two reasons involving Sneak. First is it has boots that are muffled, and muffle is super hard to find on boots to disenchant. And the second is you get a unique pair of gauntlets that make daggers do double damage. So come over here, talk to the little boy, go do the little deed he asks you to, and when you get the quest, friends like these, you're going to enter the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Come on inside, talk to Astrid, and boom. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. A welcome home present. And then she will give you the shrouded outfit. So the chest piece has poison resistance, then the boots are muffled. Again, super rare to find that. And then the headpiece will give you more bow damage, because bows are sneaky. And also the shrouded gloves for the double backstab damage. And you can do up to 30 times the damage with daggers if you're wearing these with one perk in the sneak tree, which we'll get to later. Anyways, next we're coming over here to Raven Rock. And this is just to get another awesome little piece of light armor to incorporate with my little sneak outfit. You're going to want to wait until 9.30 at night because at 9.30 the smith heads over to the bar to drink like every good alcoholic does. And at that point you can stealthily break into his house and we were going to be getting the Blackguard armor set. Come grab this plate, pick it up, and then walk down the stairs. You will need Whirlwind Sprint for this, put it against the door. Equip the shout. And it's actually very, very easy to get inside, and you will get this armor that is not stealing the Blackguard armor set. I like mix and matching the chest piece with instead of the Dark Brotherhood chest piece, instead of the shrouded armor. And then you get out the way you got in. Shouts and glitches. Alright. And now we have another awesome light armor set. Carrying capacity increased by 50, I would take that any day over the poison resistance. Lock picking is 40% better, you know, lock picking is sneaky, am I right? And prices are 25% better on the headpiece, and now we're just gonna mix and matchy. Boom. Okay guys, next we're coming over to the College of Winterhold, because for any sneak character or sneak build, or if you are doing anything sneaky, you will want Muffle and Invisibility. You're going to want to come and talk to Drevis, and if your illusion is not at 75, you can cast Muffle on repeat to get it up to 75, and then buy Invisibility from Drevis. You're going to want to buy Muffle and Invisibility, go into your books, and read them, and that's how you unlock new spells. I already have unlocked these, so I cannot read them. But anyways, once you have Invisibility and Muffle, one in each hand, if you cast Muffle and then Invisibility, you are basically undetectable. The Muffle Enchantment on the boots does half as much as casting the Muffle spell, if that makes sense. I'm a sneaky snake. Okay guys, now we're moving over here to the Shrine of Boethia, and this is for another unique piece of armor that definitely is a must have in any sneak build. Get a follower that you don't care about, you have to be level 30 for this guys, alright? Do not come here and attempt this unless you are at least level 30. And tell someone to grab the pillar in the middle, and at that point, sacrifice them away. Previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced. 
And then she's going to send you to Knife Point Ridge, and you're just going to want to take out her old champion and take one of my favorite armor pieces in the game, the Ebony Mail. You are able to move more quietly, and opponents that get close to you take 5 points of poison damage per second. So, super, super awesome. And when you incorporate that with the Shrouded outfit, I think that's just an awesome set to have. So, looks beautiful, has a unique effect. It is heavy armor, keep in mind. But you have small price to pay for this set. A feat few manage and live to tell about. Shut up, Boethia. I don't care. Boethia's calling complete. And yeah, so look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. What is not to like? I could stare at this all day in third person. Okay guys, now we're going to be getting our sneak to 100, so you're going to want to come to High Rothgar, and I think you probably know what comes next. Attacking old men for our quest for power, ha ha ha, okay. Crouch in the shadows, my friends, have the strongest dagger that you can possibly equip, do double the damage while you're wearing these gloves, and you know, you can use heal other just to make things go faster if you want, it's not 100% necessary. You can turn the difficulty up so that they have a bit more health and just start slicing the bread. And by bread, I mean praying old men. So, you know, I healed them when their health got low and yeah, that's optional. But anyways, after we keep attacking them and get our sneak to 95, I left the skill trainers out for sneak because it's just way too fast doing it this way. We're going to be throwing some perks in the trees. First, we're going to do stealth and this is just to make us more sneaky and then we're going to backstab sneak attacks with one-handed weapons do six times the damage then deadly aim sneak attacks with bows do three times the damage and then assassin's blade which is sneak attacks with daggers do 15 times the damage and with those gauntlets we have that's 30 times the damage guys now muffled movement so that our noise is reduced light footed you won't hit pressure plates or traps silent roll so that we can do this little rolling move who doesn't like to roll around? I know I do. And then just up from that, we have silence. Walking and running no longer affects detection. Okay, that's it for now. Now guys, we're going to be getting the first out of five sneak skill bugs. First, you're going to want to come over here to this cave just near White Run. Make your way inside, and you will come to the farthest little corner of this cavern by this fire on this crate. Boom. The first of five sneak skill books. Now for the second, we're coming over here to the Nightingale Inn. This is where you kill the Gourmet and the Dark Brotherhood. Make your way to the basement. And in the Gourmet's room, we have the second skill book. Okay, now for the third skill book, it is actually in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. There's the waterfall for reference, and it's just in this bedroom through this door on the left. Boom. And now for the fourth skill book, it's in the Hunting Brew Meadery, and you might have to be done a quest in the Thieves Guild to open this up. I'm not 100% sure about that, but anyways, I know... In the Thieves Guild quests, you do make your way to this far dungeon in the basement of this metery, and right here near the alchemy table on this chest, the fourth sneak skill book. And for the fifth and final one, you're going to want to come to the far corner of the slums in Windhelm. And just inside here, the fifth skill book. Sneak 100, hooray! Okay guys, now we only got one perk left in the sneak tree at the very top. And that is Shadow Warrior. Now when you are in combat and you have Shadow Warrior and you crouch, you temporarily go invisible for a short second and you are extremely hard to detect. So you can basically like lose people who are fully aggroed to you. If you just do this and you have Muffle 
and invisibility, you're laughing. Okay, guys, now for this next one, we're going to be going over the best dagger in the game. Now, you will need a courier to come and find you, and you're going to be coming to a museum in Dawnstar. And talk to this guy. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor. They split it into three fragments. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Good luck finding the fragment. What is it? All at once. You're efficient. I like that. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. Okay guys, I didn't bother holding your hand getting the three pieces of the dagger. They have quest markers, but long story short, get the three pieces, return them to him, and he's going to tell you to come over to the shrine over here. speaking to but Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board kill Silas he and his family have served their purpose did you hear that Silas you and your whole family's purpose was to just get me this one little dagger you pathetic little dung pile haha <laughs> all right and after you do that just simply talk to Mr. Dagon again and boom What a beautiful sight to see. I absolutely love the look of this dagger. Beautiful. Before you go, mortal, one final challenge. And here we go, guys. Mayrun's razor. So it has a unique effect. It has a small chance to instantly kill. I don't know if that has ever happened to me once. But anyways, it is a totally beautiful dagger. And it still works with uh, Elemental Fury because it's not technically an enchantment. It's an effect. So that's what it looks like. And super beautiful next you just need to progress in the dark brotherhood and you're going to be on the quest death incarnate and this is to get another unique awesome blade look how sneaky i am go invisible crouch a couple times with that last perk in the sneak tree you can lose anyone right in front of them haha -ha. nazir what's going on we've been betrayed all right and after you come and rescue Nazir la 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 a couple things will happen long story short you're gonna come and find this traitor and next to her on the ground is the blade of woy just kidding blade of woe gotcha okay guys and this is the second best dagger in the game other than the Mayrun's razor in my personal opinion it is a heavier dagger so you're gonna want this dagger in the right hand and Mayrun's dagger in the left because what's in the left hand determines your swing speed but super beautiful dagger, it does absorb health, and yeah. Astrid, you're still talking down there? Shut up, Astrid. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You're not done. Raise zombie, reanimate a weak corpse. You hear that, Astrid? You're weak. You're not done yet. Open your eyes when I'm talking to you, Astrid. And yeah, so now we just got two awesome unique daggers. My opinion, they're the best two you could get aside from something else you could make. Now we're going to be going over two awesome bows. First, you're gonna to wanna to come to the Island of Solstheim just near Telmithrin, there is this trader. And you're gonna to wanna to buy the resonance gem that he sells. All right? You need four in total. So one is sold by him. The next you're going to want to come to this ruin over here. And I'm not going to hold your hand through all the puzzles in the dungeon. But once you come inside and come to the very end. You'll come to this little table and grab this gem. And don't forget the Vestige of Mazant. Never forget the Vestige of Mazant. 
Now we're coming over here to this ruin to get the actual bow. And this used to be the best bow in the game before the Anniversary Edition came out. The Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. Make your way down, there's going to be these bandits. Haha! <laughs> and after you take them out on the leader, there will be two more gems. And then after you grab all four resonance gems, I will quickly show you the little puzzle. Save you the time of running down the hallway and back. Okay guys, and once you've fought your way through all of the Dwarven machines, then you can make your way back and grab the Dwarven Black Bow of Bait. Awesome looking bow, and it has a 50% chance of absorbing each attribute of Health, Stamina, and Magicka 25 points. So, just a totally, totally amazing, beautiful bow. Looks beautiful, awesome enchantment, what is not to like? It even has some glowing markings on it. Another thing I could stare at all day in Skyrim. Okay guys, now for the next thing we're going to be talking about the crossbow collection edition in the creation club. Since bows do three times the damage while you're sneaking, I thought this was worth mentioning. So to get these crossbows, all you have to do is come over to the city of solitude and there is a unique pure archer trader up in the corner just near the castle so you're going to want to come in here and this guy sells all the crossbows he sells bolts and he sells Hello. unique arrows all creation club stuff and also lots of enchanted bows so definitely worth looking at if you're a low level And he will sell you the bows as your level allows, so keep that in mind. Okay guys, now for this next part we're going to be talking about the Bow of Shadows introduced with Creation Club content in the Anniversary Edition, and I believe this to be the best bow in the game. So to get this started, you're going to want to come over to Dragon's Reach and make sure that you're done the very first quest before you do this, because it glitched on me trying to do this once, so you're going to want to have be done the quest going to bleak falls bro be done with the dragon and then come and ask the steward if there's anything he needs from you and you will start in the shadows it's a little bit of a run around quest but long story short you're going to be running around white run you got to go to one ruin and then come back and assassinate this guy the assassin kills the assassin haha -ha. gotcha so it really is simple guys, it's not a hard quest to do. And once you kill him, you can acquire the Bow of Shadows. Now this weapon you can draw 20% faster than standard bows and when you pull it out it makes you invisible for 30 seconds so you just really cannot beat this bow. And this is what it looks like. Definitely a cool looking bow. I think that the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate looks better but I think that this bow is better. And now we're just going to be enhancing the stuff we've acquired so far, guys. So on gauntlets, a chest piece, a necklace, and a ring, you're going to want weapons and armor can be improved 25% better. And to top it off a little bit more, you can drink a fortify smithing potion. And then come to the grindstone, enhance those daggers and bows. And then also don't forget to go to the armor bench. Enhance the ebony mail, the shrouded outfit. I made a leather outfit for making the best sneak outfit, which we'll get to in a second. Leather scout outfit, I guess I should say, introduced with the anniversary edition. And now we're going to be making the best sneak outfit. On a necklace and a ring, you want bows do 40% more damage, and sneaking is 40% better. Don't bother with one-handed because the one-handed enchantment doesn't affect daggers, unfortunately. And on the chest piece, uh, health and stamina regenerate 31% quicker. On the boots, sneak is 40% better. Also, steps are muffled. And then on the gauntlets, 
Sneaking is 40% better, bows do 40% more damage, and then on the helmet, on the head, bows 40% more damage, and illusion spells cost 25% less to cast, because, you know, that's sneaky. And with those, look at the bow damage we have now. 254 on the bow of shadows, 306, and remember guys, those are times 3 if you're sneaking, so lots and lots and lots of damage. Nairun's Razor, 32, times 30. And yeah, so that sums it up for this video, guys. If you liked it, consider donating to me on Patreon. And as always, guys, lots coming, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.